Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the latest episode of the World Building Project, where I'm working on the map for the new project, uh, our project over at Patreon. Um, if you've not already done so, if this is your first time here, you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, you don't know what we're working on or anything like that, check the links below it's got all the information that you need head over to patreon there's a big overview section that explains what we're currently working on what this map is for what the project is why you might want to get involved and what it's doing here on my youtube channel um, that all being said uh, if you haven't already done so make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get updates when the next video in the series is available or when I do any of the other things that I do here on YouTube, because there's lots of stuff that happens on this YouTube above and beyond this map program, like the Lotro Cooking in Real Life series, the Lotro streaming sessions, and other things. So, but without further ado, today we're going to be focusing on forests. Now, I'm not going to be doing all of the forests today. We're going to be doing um, some sections of forest, uh, because... The world has a lot of forests in it, and as a result, God, excuse me, um, there's a lot of forestry to be done. Whereas the mountain ranges, you know, it was about a 45-minute session because we only had a few mountain ranges to put. But with the forests, we're going to be working with um, quite a bit more in terms of area. And then after we're done with that, we're going to be moving on to like marshes and hills and so on and so forth. So this map, I expect this map to be something that takes place. I mean, it, it could go on for a dozen episodes. I don't know. It's not something that I'm putting a timer on. It's just something that I'm working on as I have time. So without further ado, let's jump in here today. Let's go look at the types of trees that we can look at. Um, what do we have here? We have these trees and these trees so that's going to be more like open land trees then we're going to have um, these are more mountainous trees along with these what is this is pine and then okay so let's choose pine trees shaded because one of the things we're going to do is we're going to come in here and I'm going to bring the size of these down just a little. Oops, that's the wrong, wrong button for the sizes. Okay, now, because I want some of these trees to be behind the mountains, we're going to be tucking them in like this. And we're just going to be adding a little bit of flair and flavor to the mountains. Looks like that one is a little bit, needs to be a little bit behind. There we go. Matter of fact, if we leave it on negative two, we should be okay with most of these hills. Because I think most of these mountains we had placed on the negative one plane so uh, coming in here and doing them like that should make sure that we get them all behind these current mountains. <laughs> and I am manually doing all of these. I'm not coming in and and placing any, I'm not doing like an overall mask feature where I just come in and throw a whole bunch of trees in. Um, maybe bring these size down a little bit here. And 
Okay. Now that should be enough to give these mountains a little bit of extra flare. We can do that last one. Something like that, right? And if we if we come out, now those mountains have a little bit of extra life looking to them. And we can now come in here and bring the size down a little bit, bring those up to the zero layer. And if we want to, I can even begin to put something that's a little more dense, right? That's 100% density. I don't know if I like that density, so let's bring that down to say 50 and let's see what that looks like Let's see what it looks like when we come out um, density at 50 is not bad probably stand to go a little denser. Let's try 75. And if we wanted to bring this area map up, you could see we could we could paint a little bit of a bigger area because I'm less concerned now that we're out of the mountains. Oops, that was a little too far to the north. That's if we did a a that's, that's that's fairly heavily forested, but I don't know that I like uh, the density at sixty. I think fifty is pretty good. It's gonna. I just want to come around the mountains here. Something like that. And how does that look right there? It's not too bad. Okay, and then we'll come up through here. And then we'll bring this back down to one and we'll come in here and we'll place individual trees like this. Okay, now there's a few that I'm going to want to get rid of. 
which is mostly going to be this one, this one. I want to get rid of the ones that are accidentally on the edge of the map, so to speak. Looks like that one as well. But otherwise, that's looking like a pretty decent um, section of forest. Now, go ahead and save that for now. So what I want to do in here now is look at mountains. And I want to give them color burn. There we go. So make the mountains stand out a little bit more. Okay, so that'll make my mountains pop a little bit more. Okay. Now what I might want to do is select, oh, nope, stop. Did not mean to move those. Um, let's select all of these that's not what I want to do out of curiosity and then can we bring those down inside Alright. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about that section. So, you know, it's more lightly forested in here. Okay. 
now if we come in here and do some more and put them on individual and bring them down a couple of layers and bring the size up a little bit and come in here and do that individual placement trees kind of bring some life to the mountains here I honestly feel like all the trees are too big I think I might have just froze the program. Tried to do so many trees at one time. Yep. Yeah, it looks like I killed the program. We're going to have to do a refresh. That's the first time I've seen that happen. Uh, but obviously, um, we're trying to manipulate a whole bunch of objects at one time and so the program went eh. and we're only editing in the 2k uh, if we were editing in 4k I would imagine it would be even more of a nightmare All right, let's try this again because I think I want to just I think I want to bring the size of the trees down pine trees select all and I want to just, yeah, it's not going to, it's not going to want to let me do all of those. So I'd say we're going to have to, um, Because I feel like the trees are just too big at this point. We're going to refresh. I need to look at the size of the trees that I put on the island. Because those looked pretty good. Um... Like, if I go look at those trees, those are size 33. Whereas the ones I put up in here um, are way bigger. You know what I mean? So let me see if I can't do this. And let's just delete. All right, we're going to we're going to try a different uh, approach to this. Delete. And we're going to delete. 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 All right, maybe now Do it like this. You guys are getting to see me do oopsies while I'm working, and then mountains deselect. Damn it, it's not what I wanted to do. I don't know how to just get rid of all the trees.
No, because they got rid of the mountains, too. So, see, I'm still learning all the tools. Alright, well, I'll figure this out. Now, let's see if I can't select all of these. And let's make their size 30. Is that still too many? Nope, that worked. Okay. That's better. Okay. Okay, now we can come in here. That looks a little bit more like what I wanted. And we can come in here and say, okay, we've got all these trees now. And we can put them on the plus one. Put them on the zero, I should say. Give them a 50% density with a slightly larger area. Something like that. Okay. Maybe. Stop. <laughs> we can come in here and kind of paint a little more. I'm thinking I like the look of that a little better because before I had too many trees in the forest and so we were too many trees in the forest too many trees around the uh, around the mountains and so we were basically smothering the mountains and that's not what I wanted to do and now we can come up in here and just, you know, that looks much better. Because before I was having this, we were, yeah, way too, way too forested. Let's go ahead and get that saved. Definitely want to have a forest all along this edge. Something like that. Now let's bring that brush up. And let's come in here and fill in. OK, 
Okay. I'm liking that a little bit better. And then we're probably going to switch. No, it's getting way too close to the edge. Okay, now I gotta make sure that we get rid of some of these along the coast. I like their tip. If anyone criticizes your world, just tell them it was made by the gods. All right, we got a couple more trees we got to get rid of here. Just real quick. Yeah, and then one more right there. Oh, looks like one there as well. All right, I think... Yeah, so that's a pretty heavily wooded section. And that's one of the forests of the world. Now we got to do other forests as well. Um, now we're doing... We did all those as a pine forest. Um...
we're going to come down here and we're going to choose different type of tree. We're going to choose these trees. And we're also going to stay around the same size. Um, we're going to in here like this you know they're part of a forest that spreads out around these mountains Yeah, you know, let's say maybe it comes out Something like that. Some trees that follow the edge of the mountains down. But I'll tell you what, the map does not like it when you start adding lots of trees in because you're adding tons of objects. So that's one thing I've noticed about Incarnate. At least when you're on the 2K map, um, I'm sure we can reduce the resolution and, and it not be quite as taxing. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty good fit here because I don't want huge forests here. These are just some, some forests that are around the edges of the trees. And then we're not going to do it today, but we're going to come in here and we're going to flesh out these mountains as well. At least some of the foothills. Um, there's not going to be there's not going to be trees up in the up in the higher sections. Um, All right, well, let's save. <laughs> well, 
Well, we don't want to do any text at the moment. So, I'd say we're pretty good here with where we're at for now. Which means we're going to go ahead and call it quits for now. We've got to add some more forested regions to the world. Um, and we're going to be fleshing out the map a little bit more. I mean, there's multiple forests in this world, so we have to continue to flesh out that. Then we have to start adding POIs and so on and so forth. I definitely think I want this POI here, for example. Um, this city. I think I want to make that bigger. You know, to show that it's a ruins once upon a time. Um, go ahead and save that. But we've got to add more port cities and so on and so forth. So stick around for all of that in the meantime. We're going to be, I'm going to go ahead and render this out. I'm going to export it as a 4K. And while that's rendering, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video session. And I want to thank everybody for following along as I experiment with placing some of the forests on this world. And again, to remind everyone, if you haven't already done so, check out the links below to go to the Patreon page where you could figure out what we're working on here exactly, all the details of this fun little project that's being worked on, um, as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get updates when we go live with new videos and new content. And hopefully we'll see you over on Patreon because that's where all the fun happens. So until next time, I'm Tim Anderson signing off.